Hello again guys, it's Edward with Crypto University and in this lesson we're going to be discussing safety orders. This is perhaps the most important part of configuring a bot. If you do not plan for the deviation within these safety orders, your bot will malfunction and it will not close a deal. You will get stuck in a position and you will have to wait for the market to swing again and your deal to become profitable once more for the bot to close the deal. So it's very important you plan accordingly for that deviation we talked about earlier. So we're going to go ahead and try and set this up to match our deviation now. Everything that we do in here will directly affect what happens here. So let's keep an eye on the bot assistant as we are making these changes. Oops, fat fingered there. Let me put that back up. All right. So everything that you do here will directly affect what happens over here. So let's take a look at these max safety trades count. If we have 10 max safety trades count, that means our bot will have 10 safety orders in its line of defense to help us dollar cost average the price of the asset we've invested in. If we set it to 15, we'll have 15 safety orders. So five additional chances to correct the price and dollar cost average our way into this asset. Now, if you take note, the more safety trades you add, everything changes, right? If you have 10, your max amount for bot usage goes up, your max safety order price deviation goes up, and your percent of available balance to be used by the bot goes up. If you put five here, everything is going to go up more, right? So let's take a look at the next setting, the max active safety trades count. Now currently as I make this video, you can only have 10 max active safety trades. And what these are, are orders that go onto the order book at the time of the initial deal start. So if you only have one max active safety trade, whenever your deal starts, it will place one take profit order and one safety trade order. Now. If you select multiple max active safety trades counts, let's say you put five here, that means your bot will put five safety trade orders onto the market at the time of the deal start. This kind of helps some scenarios with what we call fat finger trades. Um, if you don't know much about fat fingers, I don't want to make this video longer than it has to be, so just do a quick Google search on fat finger trades and you'll see what they are. This can help with some of those huge uh, price falls in quick amount of times if you have more max active safety trades count however whenever you have more max active safety trades count it'll take away from your available balance for other activities like smart training and other bot programmings so keep that in mind it this max active safety trades count has no effect on the bot assistant it's the only setting in this chart in this box that has no effect on the bot assistant okay so the price deviation to open safety orders percent from initial order. What this means is whenever your bot places a base order, it will not place a safety order until price deviates 1%, right? So if you change this to 1.5%, that means your safety order will open after 1.5% deviation, right? and every safety order after that will open at 1.5 percent deviation right so you can see on the table here you're starting to get increased deviation range now we can go all the way down to a 22 percent deviation and at that point price only has to raise 14 percent for us to make our initial 0.45 target profit right so if we change this to 1.5, we're going to get a higher deviation range, right? If we change this to 1.8, you see your max safe order price deviation goes to 27%. You change this to 0.45, now you've only got a 6.75% deviation range, okay? So that directly affects the max safe order price deviation. It also affects a bot's ability to close deals in a timely manner. If you're opening positions every time the price deviates 0.45%, you're getting more positions on the order book, you're getting more of the asset you're trying to dollar cost average, and it makes it a lot easier 
to get a profit. You can see at the bottom of the chart here now, if price falls 6.75%, it has to rise 4% for you to make your initial 0.45% take profit target. I hope this is making sense. I really hope this is making sense to you. I know it's a lot of information and you're really just going to have to set it up, observe it, and, and practice. Experience is where it's going to take for you to become a solid bot trader. Okay, so we'll go on to the next uh, input setting here. Safety order volume scale. This makes it a lot easier for you to close deals as well. The more volume you're putting into each safety order, the easier it will be to close a deal. That's what this does here. So if you have a safety order volume scale of 1, then every safety order... I'm going to make this easier for math. I'm going to change this to 10. Every safety order will be $10. If you change this to 1.5, right? Every safety order is going to be multiplied by a factor of 1.5. So that means the first safety order will be 10, right? The next safety order will be 15, right? So if you follow that percent deviation, this is what you're going to look at right if you're changing this safety order volume scale down to let's take it down to 1.25 you can take a look over here at the last deal so it helps you to close deals faster it helps your bot to close deals faster it makes it easier to take advantage of market movements so you can see here now price has a 6.75 percent deviation and a required change sorry you can see here bot has a 6.75% deviation on the 15th safety order and only has to rise 2.1% right here at the very bottom okay you can see here safety order number 10 price falls 4.5% price only has to rise 1.8% to make your initial take profit target if we change that to 2.0 now you can see here that is going to wildly increase your max amount for bot usage because you're increasing every safety order by a multiplier table of two but this is what it would look like now whenever you get down to that safety order that 10 safety order instead of having to come back all that percentage it has to raise less than one percent now so the more safety order volume that you have multiplier the easier it is to close deals does that make sense if you're getting if you're buying the same amount of an asset as it goes down it makes your position harder to close right so if you're just doing one then at a 6.75 percent deviation you has to come up four percent at a four percent deviation it has to rise 2.5 but if we double that at a four percent deviation instead of having to raise 2.5 it only has to raise 0.91 so that's the power of safety order volume scale. You will notice that it seriously depletes your funds, uh, but it makes a bot more safe. Safety order volume scale definitely makes a bot more safe and helps you close deals faster. Now the safety order step scale, that is going to directly affect your max safe order price deviation again. So if you have not that much funds to use, let's say you don't have you can't put 15 safety orders you can only put 10 right but you still want to cover that six percent deviation right because if we have 15 safety orders it's a 6.75 percent deviation okay so let's change that to 10 then you can alter the safety order step scale to see where you can get back to six so actually if you put at 1.1 percent now you can cover seven percent deviation if we go 1.05 uh, let's see 1.08 you can cover that same 6% you originally had. If you change this to 1.25, just for example, now you have a much deeper deviation range of 14.96%. But how does this affect your deal, your bot's ability to close deals? Well, the larger your deviation is, the further price has to deviate in order for you to, in order for your bot to open another safety order, right? So if we're if we're originally going to make this a 0.45% deviation, that means when price initially falls 0.45%, it 
we make our first safety order. Now that scale will be multiplied by 1.25. And you can see over here the deviation starts at point, uh, 0.45 and then is multiplied by our deviation scale. So we end up going from 0.45 difference in our first order all the way down to f almost 15% difference in our last safety order. And again, whenever you use that in account with safety order volume scale, let's just take a quick look. Here at 5% uh, deviation, we're going to need 3.5% change to close the deal. Well, if we double that at a 5% deviation, we'll only need 1.63% to close the deal. So th this is this right here, the safety orders input is definitely the most important box to learn and understand every single one of these inputs directly affects the other and you will absolutely have to see and observe the bots in action to see how they work on each currency pair and decide what works best for you we do include some templates that we have found uh, to stabilize currency pairs and help bot trading that we will give out to you guys but whenever you're creating these things your options are limitless you can create high-risk scalper bots you can create long-term swing bots the, the options are limitless and it's all it's all directly related to the safety orders part right here alright guys so that's it for this lesson I know it was a lot of information it's all important information and once you actually start using these configurations you'll learn more about it so take a break and get ready for the next lesson in our series lesson six we're gonna be discussing deal start conditions